Hello and welcome Sagittarius to your March 2023 general reading with myself Thomas Janak. You are watching Thomas's Tower readings with myself Thomas Janak as I already mentioned. Please like, subscribe and share. It really really helps the channel grow. And uh, if you like my work you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. Sagittarians, what we do here is we will divide the reading into uh, uh, sections. <laughs> so it is easier to understand and also it's easier to actually give messages. Um, and what we will do is we will look at the overall energy for the months ahead for the sign of Sagittarius before we then move on to your emotional core. And the emotional core is the area where um, either healing needs to happen, stuff can go, that sort of stuff, or maybe there's love coming in. Uh, before we then lastly move on to opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of March 2023 for the sign of Sagittarius. With no further ado, let's have a look what we got for Sagittarians with regards to your overall energy for the months ahead. Okay. <laughs> You have, um, so I'm using my astrology cards, just to say that. And you have a square, semi-square. Square is not a, a, a good aspect. It denotes tension. Uh, so that's the first message, is tension. Uh, and then we have the North Node, which is sort of why you're here, but also denotes how you go from here into the future. In short, what the guides are saying, right now and into your imminent future, you will now go through things in March where you probably will come up against things that really need your attention, uh, but that need, that feel tense, which means March, therefore, remember, March is the third month, number three is the number of progression. So, therefore, the energy is stronger to actually deal with stuff that you really didn't want to deal with. Right or didn't feel you have to deal with. So the point is, number one, don't fight whatever comes to you. There's nothing here to suggest that you won't be strong enough to deal with it. But because there's tension in the energy for Sagittarius, um, you really have to meet things head on so that it can actually be um, sorted. Otherwise, you will carry this with you into the so-called uh, immediate uh, future, because the future is not written. What is written is cornerstone events. You get to a certain point, you can expect a certain growth. Um, but um, other than that, it's not that you are a blank canvas, but the idea is because obviously, you, you know, you can, you can, you make your own decisions. So therefore your, your path um, can, can, can rear quite a lot. So therefore a lot of the stuff cannot actually be seen, um, right? So anyway, the overall energy here for you is to understand that in order for your life to make any sense, whatever comes to you in March 2023 that is difficult to deal with and that gives you that feeling of, of, of um, tension and tenseness, if that even is a word, right? Don't try to avoid it. It's not going to work. Okay, that was the overall energy for Sagittarius. Sorry, it wasn't more positive, but it is the way it is. As I always say, I only work here and it is the truth. So now we're looking at your emotional core and see um, what can what can come in. So, uh, well, there's, they're, they're, they're both positive, but they're both also in my depictions here. They are, they are connected to um, healing. So you have the snake here, right? When you go to the pharmacy, you see a snake around the cane? It's the sign of protection and healing. And you have healing and, and sensitize. So, okay, let me explain this to you. Number one is whether or not there's love coming in, I don't see at all. All I see and all the guides are showing me is for you to look at what isn't working with regards to... Um, how you feel, especially with regards to your love life and, and, and personal things. So this is not about, so number one, let me exclude work here, because this energy here is not about, about third parties. They might all be a bunch of idiots, right? But you chose to go there. So maybe that's something you need to look into. Point is, this is about how you already feel or how you have may have been made to feel um, sort of in the past and now it needs to go because you have 
Chiron or Chiron, the uh, the energy of the um, of the wounded healer. And the interesting thing is that you are Sagittarius, and Chiron is the archer in the origin story of your very sign. So we're, we're right at home at you with that message. This month in March 2023, it's time to look at what can go. Why am I carrying stuff with me that is no longer needed? Maybe you need to accept an apology you never got, right? But don't carry it with you. It doesn't suit you at all. And then sensitize means, uh, again, you have learned to live with stuff, which is a bit of an issue because when you learn to live with stuff, it doesn't go anywhere, right? And so um, and most people are actually guilty of that, that we sort of, you know, don't really deal with stuff and let them fully go hence why we manifest the same type of person right until we have sort of learned that lesson point is when they have sensitized here as the outgoing energy is for you to realize let it go and then and this is probably the most important part here with regards to your emotional core allow yourself to feel allow yourself to be surprised maybe even by the goodness of someone else or how awesome it feels um to be embraced by someone else. Um, so that is uh, interesting here as an, as an energy um, for you because you are really asked to, um, to look at, at your overall well-being, so to speak, um, and healing. And to be fair, you know, the tension that we mentioned in um, the overall energy, the first part of the reading, um, will actually help. Because if you're already a bit on edge, it makes you a bit vulnerable. And when you're vulnerable, you're more open. When you are more open, it is much easier to release. So it's not a negative thing at all to be vulnerable, um, provided that, that you don't allow people to take advantage of it. Okay? That was your emotional core, my dear Sagittarians. And now lastly, let's look at opportunities. As the presenters have seen you in the month of March 2023. And you have Alliance. Now... What the guides are saying is, if you, whether or not you're self-employed or whatever it is you do, make sure you collaborate with others. Should you work in a very busy place, then look inside that organization, for want of a better word, for, um, for allies. Right? But don't be the person, wherever you are, even when you're self-employed, that feels isolated because of what you do. If that makes sense, right? Um, and so, so working together is the energy um, that is here for you in March, but it is here for you to then to then get new opportunities coming in, right? So you can't just go it alone all the time, or at least in March you shouldn't. Okay, Sagittarians, thank you so much. You are watching Thomas's Tower readings with myself, Thomas Yana. Please like, subscribe, and share and share widely because that really helps the channel out. Thank you so much. See you hopefully next month. Bye-bye.